Hello and welcome to the new stocking and one more CSGO easy tutorial video. In this episode I will show you how to customize your launch options and also give you some good advices about most useful launch options and their parameters. Let's start. First of all you should open your Steam library and uh, after finding the CSGO in this list Go to properties and find the set launch options in general tab. First of all, two basic commands that any of you should use. The first one, minus novit. This one disables the intro when you launch the game. And the second one, minus console. This one enable the in-game developers console. Now we should take a little pause and understand the simple thing. If you want to set uh, more than one launch option for your game you should just enter the launch parameters one by one like this as you can see on your screen. Without semicolon or any other punctuation marks. I think that this is clear and you should understand it. Now let's continue. One more comment, the minus frec uh, and the parameter for it, in my case 120. Uh, this command changes the frequency of your screen. So in most cases you do not need uh, to use it because the game will automatically run uh, with the refresh rate of your screen that you set in your windows. If you don't set it, uh, just Google uh, for how to check your uh, screen refresh rate, monitor refresh rate. Next group of comments, high or low. They change the priority of your game, so we use the high when you are playing and low when you are idling at the idle server. Full, windowed and no border. This command changes the way of how your game is shown on your screen. For a full screen, uh, use the full command uh, windowed for windowed mode and attention the combination of minus windowed and minus no border for borderless window mode or as some retards call it windowed full screen what the fuck <clears throat> also you can use minus w and minus h uh, to change the in-game resolution. For example, for full HD you should use minus W1920 and minus H1080. Also you can change the in-game language. Uh, as a parameter you should use a language you want to have, like maybe English or Russian, maybe German, I'm not sure. You should test them by yourself. The next heap of comments like no force m speed, no force m excel, and no force m perms are used by some players that can't, can't uh, describe uh, the forums why they are used. So everyone who is explaining these comments all around the internet say that they disable acceleration. Uh, my own test shown that they disable any influence of window mouse parameters on CSGO mouse parameters. Check them by yourself and you will understand how it works. The minus M row input As I understand, this command is doing the same what previous three commands do. To be honest, I'm not using any of that commands, not this one or three previous. 
and I never had any problem in CSGO or CSRs. I had no acceleration, no lag input or any other troubles that are caused by some magic. Also I saw some info that this command lags a bit and they don't recommend to use it. That's all I can say about it and about three previews. The minus thread or minus threads, let me check this out. Threads. Let it be so. Yep, minus threads. This command will help you to fix the in game locks a little bit by setting how many threads a game could use. Be attentive because you can have two core CPU that has four threads. To check that, open a task manager with the combination of Ctrl Shift plus Escape and go to Performance tab and count the boxes over here. I also hear the information that the CSGO is using maximum or four threads, but in some cases I am setting the parameter for threads like 2 8. The next one, minus stick rate. Parameter for set to 128. This command is only useful if you are making some local server training. If you don't, just forget about it. Also, don't forget that you can use a console commands as a launch parameters, but to make launch option box easy to read, I recommend you to use the exe command and execute the config that you that contains all the commands you need. Like exec your config that's all thanks for watching thumb up subscribe and wait for new videos